Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another Studio One Snapshots. And today we're going to take a look for the beginners on uh, three different ways to use Easy Drummer in Studio One. Pretty simple stuff. Most of you are going to know this. But for the people that are just getting started, I thought this would be a good idea since the question came up in uh, the uh, HST Studio One support group. All right, so let's go ahead and go right to the classroom. So you can see here that I have... Um, I have uh, Easy Drummer pulled up and I have a track created. Of course, when you drag it in, it's automatically going to create a track. You do not have to create an instrument track and then drag in the instrument. If you just drag in the instrument directly from the browser, it is going to actually create the track for you. All right, so a couple of different ways to do this. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with the MIDI performances that are actually inside of... Easy drummer. All right, so we got verses, play, just like that. All right, so we have the song builder down here at the bottom, and we can just go ahead and drag these into. The song builder. We're going to go to 4-4. Four, four, now we're going to go to a chorus. And we are going to just scroll that down to 8. There we go. So now, if you hit play in Studio One, the uh, song builder actually uh, starts playing. go just like that so that's the first way that you can do it you can build your whole song down here in the song builder excellent the other way that you can do it is you can take the tracks in the song builder and you can drag them up to your midi track in studio one and you can right click and you can remove all of these there still playing the drum sounds There we go. I only actually did one, but that's okay. So you can do it that way, and then you can double-click, and you can edit those in the Studio One editor. Makes it really simple. That's nice, right? Like that. Okay, the uh, third way that you can do this is... We're going to go ahead, and we're going to delete this guy here. Now, we're actually going to record using a controller. You guys see the uh, controller there in the... In the little video right there, I'm using a uh, an Akai MPK Mini. So one of the things that we can do is we can turn on the input quantize and we can turn on the click. Two, three, four. And I can record the drums this way. Just like that. So you have many different ways that you can actually use this. If you like to use the plugin, if you're used to using that, maybe you're coming from another DAW where you had to do it this way, you can do it that way. And you can also go ahead and drag those MIDI tracks in. You can also just go ahead and freeform your own drum tracks, either using the input quantize or not. So I hope that you guys found that helpful, and I will see you all in the next video.